Hi there, uh, can I help you? Yeah, uh, let me have a pound of health salad, a uh -huh. bag of the alfalfa sprouts, yeah. some of the natural fruit and nut mixture. In the past uh, few years, job. Americans have supposedly bag, gone bag. on a health food uh, kick. It's wheat true, wheat. Yeah, people have been spending cake, more and more bread, money on so-called natural or health food items, but at the same time, it seems Americans are going through a fat infatuation. Let me have the greasiest piece of fried chicken you got in a pound uh, of cooking lard. Uh, yeah, in the daytime I'm Mr. Natural, just as healthy as I can be. But at night I'm a junk food junkie, good Lord have pity on me. Last year Americans ate a record amount of fat, both visible fat like butter, cooking oil and salad dressing, and also invisible fat hidden in meats, grains and vegetables. This is a song about vegetables, they keep you regular, they're real good for you. Visible fats are the most easily measured, and Americans last year packed in an average of over 56 pounds per person, and experts expect the average to hit 60 pounds per person by 1985. She's so All this fat consumption is having a stimulating effect on the growth of the economy as well as waistlines. The food industry itself is of course the first to benefit. Fast food restaurants specializing in fried foods are booming, and fat-laden convenience and snack food sales are rolling along too. Say fella, where do you eat? Oh, soggy diner. I like a Grimm's burger now and then, but I usually eat at McBarnyard's Golden Starches or Colonel Bucket's Chicken Blasphemy. I was driving down the road, feeling hungry and cold. I saw a sign saying food and drinks for everyone. So naturally I thought I would take me a look inside. Then there are the spin-off industries like health spas and weight reducing clinics. People are flocking to them in record numbers. But that's the American way. Some people are profiting from it, some aren't. But it seems like most everybody's living off the fat of the land. Ben Manila on the News Blimp.